Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Jamila and welcome back to my laboratory. So, graduation season is upon us and today I'm going to show you guys how to customize this stole using Canva. I have everything you need in the description box below. If you like the video, you learn something new, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. All right, guys, to begin, we're going to start off in canva.com and we're going to go ahead over here to create a design. Hit custom size and whatever size paper you're using is the dimensions that you'll type in. So I'm using 11 by 17 size paper for this project. So that is what I'll enter. Okay, so now we're just going to go over to our left toolbar and select elements. And we're going to grab a shape. So the first shape we're going to grab is a square. And mine's popped up, but you can also always search in the toolbar. Now, the stoles from my shop, jstewartslaboratory.com, are about four inches wide. So that is the size I'll be making this square. Okay, so I'm just going to take the size in until it's about four inches. And the stole is about 27 inches long. Obviously, we can't get 27 inches out of one piece of paper. So we're going to make this square 16 inches long. And then we'll go ahead and duplicate it. And then we'll copy this page. We'll duplicate this page. And obviously we don't need two 16 inch long squares. So uh, we're going to make this one about 11 and a half inches, okay? Because like I said, the stole is about 27 inches long, and that's without the, like, the triangle part at the bottom. So we're just going to go ahead and make that 11 and a half inches. Then we're going to go back to elements, grab another shape, and we're going to grab a triangle. And then we'll make the triangle about two and a half inches um, make make it about two and a half inches long and this is going to be like our little guideline like our full stole okay this is going to be our design template and we're going to keep our design in between these dimensions now i did make mine a little bit bigger just because i like to give myself a little bit of wiggle room when i'm doing designing but if you don't purchase your stoles from me, all you have to do is just measure it, okay? Because that's how I got my dimensions. I just measured my stole. So this is our little faux stole. So now that we have our dimensions, I'm just going to go ahead and grab some images that I want to use for this, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went to my uploads and I grabbed the images that I want to use. And all I did was remove the background from the pictures. And that is a Canva Pro feature, okay? So all I do is just make sure the image is highlighted, go up here to effects, and hit background removal. And like I said, this is a Canva Pro feature, but if you don't have a Canva Pro, you can use my affiliate link in the description box to sign up and get your free 30-day trial. Actually, I think it's 45 days. Um, the regular trial is 30 days, but if you sign up with my link in the description box, you get an extra 15 days. Okay, y'all, I love Camera Pro. Camera Pro is bomb. Okay, and after you see this video, how we design this in Canva, you're going to want to go ahead and sign up for Camera Pro as well. So, bam, it removed the background for me, right? So, I'm just going to go ahead and start sizing these down and placing them how I want. Now I am going to change the background of this uh, box from pink to blue. I'm not really even sure why it's pink, but it's really throwing me off. So I'm just going to change that to blue because that is the color I want the stole to be anyway. Because it is, it is my homegirl's school colors. And shout out to her for letting me use her images and things for this tutorial. And also shout out to her because she will be graduating in May with her master's in social work. So yay, <laughs> congratulations to her. So anyway, I'm just going to crop, um, like I said, just cropping the pictures and just moving them around. 
to the position that I feel like is best. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and make sure things look okay. And one thing I'm going to do just to make, I really want that center picture just to pop a little bit. I'm just going to uh, bring the transparency down of this picture just a little bit. I'm only just taking it down to 90. And that just makes that middle picture um, just pop a little bit more, okay? Just gives the photo, I don't know, I don't know the correct term, <laughs> design term, but it just makes it look nice. So now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to grab a couple more images from my uploads. And I'm just going to make, um, just make it a little bit more personalized, right? Because this is like her school that she's graduating from. So I'm just going to add that information. And yeah, there isn't a right or wrong way to do this. Use this video as a guide, use it as inspiration, but just get in Canva and play around and see what you can come up with. And I'm just going to kind of layer the U, and U of M over the tiger image. And I'm just going to highlight that tiger image and bring the transparency down just a little bit as well. Okay, so everything is looking good so far, and I'm just going to add some text. And I'm just going to go to the left toolbar, hit text, and I'm using the font playlist script. Now, you can go over to the left toolbar and hit text if you want to add text, or you can just hit the letter T on your keypad, and um, this field will pop up, and you can add, it'll say your paragraph, you know, and you can add text that way as well. So that's just a little keyboard shortcut. So I just went ahead and added the text I wanted to use, which is her um, favorite Bible verse. And I'm just going to add some effects to it. And to do that, I just made sure my text was highlighted. Went up to the top toolbar and hit effects. And I'm using the neon effect. And I just changed the color text to white. And I'm just going to take the glow down just a little bit so that you can read it better. Okay, so we had the top half of the stole down. So now let's work on the bottom half. And I just had some, um, changed the background to blue like we did at the top. Some images of her father who passed. And I just wanted to uh, put like an in memory of, of him on there. Let's just zoom out a little bit to kind of get a better image of how our stole is looking. And y'all, I'm really, really feeling this, feeling this so much. So I'm just going to add another image, the um, In Loving Memory image. And then we're going to go ahead back to Elements and we're going to get another frame. We're going to do um, number frames this time. And I showed you guys in my last tutorial where we made the graduation shirt, how to use the number frames. But if you didn't see that video, I'll link it up here in a little card. And I'll also link it in the description box for you guys so you can check that out. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the 2021 numbers. And you want to use the numbers that have this like little cloud and grass background, okay? Because those are the frames that you can drop things into. And I just highlighted, selected all the numbers, and I just sized them down all together. It just makes it a little bit easier when you're designing. And I went ahead and did like my um, numbers like two and a half inches tall, right? And I'm just going to go ahead and space those out. All right, so once the numbers are lined up, we're just going to go ahead and move the square to the side, select all the numbers, go to the top toolbar, hit position, and hit tidy up, and that just aligns everything correctly for us. So now we're going to go to the left toolbar and hit photos, and I'm going to create like a text masking effect. I want to give these numbers like a gold foil 
background, okay? Now, if you wanted to, you can also insert a picture into the numbers and the picture will basically take on the frame. Um, I showed you guys that in the tutorial where we made the graduation shirt. Um, link will be in the description box. But I'm going to give it a gold foil effect today instead. So that's just a couple different things you can do with the frame, okay? So this is our stole so far, and I went ahead and added another design element to the stole. Um, it's called like texture. And to do that, I just went to elements. I typed in texture in its um, search bar. And then I just picked the design that I liked. And it was this light blue one up here. And that is a Canva Pro feature for you guys. So it was that light blue one. And I just grabbed it and changed the color to the blue. Um, well, not like, like a darker blue. Make sure it's highlighted. Just go ahead and change the color. And then I went to position and just moved it um, behind the pictures that were in behind the pictures. And that just, I don't know, it just takes the stole up just a little bit more. And I just duplicated it and did that again. Right, so I can get like a full coverage image of it. And this is our stole, you guys. And I went ahead and added some text to class of 2021. And I'm just going to change the background of the image to blue. Okay. Because I want like a full bleed stole. So I just changed it all to blue. And we're going to go ahead over here to download. And you're going to download this as a PNG. Oh, yes. And make sure you flip your images okay because remember when you print for sublimation everything needs to be reversed so once you do that go ahead and download save it as a png and you're going to save the file to your computer go ahead and unzip it because we have two pages so it's a zip file go ahead and extract it and then we'll just go ahead and print. I'm printing from my Workforce 7210. And we're going to make sure it's on tabloid. 11, size, 11 by 17 size paper is tabloid. And make sure our borderless printing is off. I mean on, I'm sorry, make sure borderless printing is on and make sure it's on premium presentation paper mats. Okay, so that is the print settings that we'll be using. And this is it printing from the printer. And the first thing you want to do when you take it out the bag is lint roll it really, really good. And we're going to go ahead and pre-press it for about, mm, about 10, 15 seconds. So we're going to take our paper and trim off the extra and we're going to tape these together using heat tape. Once we have it taped, we're just going to lay our stole down, make sure it's covering the design and then we're just going to add a little bit of heat tape to the image as well just so that it doesn't shift while it's under the press then once we have it all taped together we're just going to go ahead and press it at 400 degrees for 60 seconds okay i'm using a 15 by 15 press so i had to press it about two times so if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos um, don't forget to grab your stoles from jstewartslaboratory.com. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.